The change in the way humans die is called an epidemiological transition. The first epidemiological transition occurred around 10,000 years ago, with the advent of agriculture, the domestication of animals, and a more sedentary lifestyle. This change was marked by an increase in infant mortality due to malnutrition and infectious diseases. The second epidemiological transition began in the 19th and 20th centuries. It was due primarily to the increase in sanitary standards, hygiene, and nutritional improvements. And with the help of vaccinations and other advances in medicine, people started to die less often due to malnutrition and infectious diseases. Instead, we started to live longer and suffer from chronic and degenerative diseases, such as cardiovascular disease, cancer, strokes, and diabetes. These changes did not occur everywhere at the same time, and there are still many places in the world that are still in the first transition. Today, we are on the cusp of the third epidemiological transition. Due to the encroachment of humans into more and more areas of the world, many new infectious diseases have been starting to cause problems. Some examples are HIV, Ebola, and Zika. Globalization causes even more problems because more and more people and diseases are able to travel very quickly from one place to another. 